Today is Monday. This is today's outfit of the day. It is this thrifted scarf and skirt and then this white camisole that I got from AliExpress for just a few dollars. These earrings, I think they were from a Walmart and then the um, bracelet is also from the thrift store. So yeah, we just um, had the most amazing torrential downpour and I'm also um, filming a what I eat in a day video today, but that's going to be a separate thing. But yeah, we just had some crazy downpour and then the sun is actually, I think, going to come back out, which could make it even worse. Might have some more storming, but yeah, we had a tornado warning, but I wasn't too upset because um, I think it's, when you get that on your cell phone, it's usually for some other area and I just kind of like listen to see if it gets really scary before I take cover. But yeah, everything is calm at the moment. So back to normal and our internet's coming back in again, which is good because we do have satellite internet and yeah, that's that usually goes out when we get like really heavy downpour. Today is Wednesday and this is today's outfit of the day. This pretty print top that I bought from a thrift store and then this skirt that I bought from Roses. I do miss shopping at Roses, but they don't have like curbside delivery or anything like that. So I don't know when I'm going to be in a Roses again anytime soon, unfortunately. For us now, it's just everywhere that has a curbside pickup. But yeah, I didn't pick up the uh, camera yesterday. I didn't end up taking a picture, not even like an outfit of the day picture or anything like that. Um, but I did get a few things done today, though. I do need to take some pictures for some... Um, collaborations and stuff like that so I'll be doing that later and maybe even filming a dance video hopefully. Today is Monday Labor Day and this is today's outfit of the day just this dress that I wear around the house a lot and then I threw on this little pink cardigan that I think I thrifted a long time ago and then these earrings that I bought some kind of dollar store out in California but yeah pretty casual for today um, I'm feeling pretty lazy but yeah, I'm working uh, again on blog post photos and that kind of thing. And yeah, I'm just kind of like feeling a little off. I don't know why, because it's getting darker earlier and it just doesn't feel quite right. And the weather's cooler and this all happened kind of suddenly. Uh, so yeah, I'm kind of have to adjust to the fall period. It does seem that it's getting cooler earlier in the month of September than it usually does here in Virginia. So it's a little disturbing. I'm thinking we're probably going to have like a rough winter because last year it was pretty mild here in Virginia. And if that's the case, I am not looking forward to that. And it may be especially depressing because we're kind of all trapped inside these days. Hopefully that won't be the case though. So here's something that I got in the mail. Um, this was sent to me from an Amazon reviewer to review for, um, for review purposes, but yeah, it's this little shorts and top pajama set, and it has pockets and everything. It feels like really thick and nice, very well made. Um, I'm wearing a size medium, I think, and yeah, this is really cute and comfortable. I'm very happy with this one as well for fall and winter. I think it's going to be a really cute one. Today is Tuesday, and this is today's outfit of the day. These earrings that are from that were from AliExpress. This little bracelet, I think it came with a watch set from Walmart. This chain belt that was thrifted, and the dress is actually from the store labels. I only went in there one time, like last fall, and I picked up this dress. It's a um, sleeveless dress. And I bought this dress and then a pair of earrings that were pretty cool that are like gold with graduating like um, beads or something, and I wore those a lot. So yeah, this dress and then this sweater that was gifted from an Amazon seller. If I can find it, I'll link it below, but yeah, I haven't. It's been a couple years, so I'm not sure if it's still available. But yeah, that's today's outfit of the day. I wanted to show this rolling rack that I have everything on, all of my accessories and stuff that I was talking about. But yeah, I added the wheels. These are like really tough heavy duty wheels. So now I can roll this thing around the room and that's going to be so great. So I have like all of my accessories on here. Well, actually I don't have all of my accessories on here. This is just unfortunately a fraction of them. 
So I don't know if anybody else has ever tried this that's watching the video today, but I absolutely adore this scent from Bath & Body Works. But I, just, I decided this season that I wanted to try something for the fall and winter seasons. So I got the Marshmallow Pumpkin Latte. Now, I guess I was expecting more of a pumpkin spice scent. So I was a little bit disappointed that this smells almost more like a perfume. And then it's not nearly as strong as the uh, Waikiki Beach Coconut. That, that is very strong and smells really good. I just love that. And then I decided to get the Christmas Cookies one because it was supposed to smell, I think some of the reviews said it smelled kind of like ginger or something like that. It's not focusing. It doesn't really say on here what it smells like, does it? Just Christmas Cookies. But I found that to be a little bit disappointing too <laughs> so I guess I need to wait until like I actually feel like going to a store again to smell these but I have sweet cinnamon pumpkin coming as well so we'll see if that actually is more like what I want because I wanted something yeah more cinnamon for the fall and then more like ginger for Christmas but I'm still pretty happy with all of these and I do find Bath and Body Works lotions to be very moisturizing and I absolutely love this one like I said Today is Wednesday, and here is today's outfit of the day. It's this beige cardigan that doesn't have buttons or anything like that, and then this dress that I've had, I think, since I was a little girl, actually. Um, yeah, it's pretty old. And then these earrings that um, I made out of... They came off, the, like, the tie of a blouse, and so I got rid of the blouse, but I kept these to make, like, little earrings out of them. They, they kind of look good for the fall, I think. And then this bracelet that was also thrifted. My birthday is coming up in just a few days here, about a week or so, and I decided to buy myself a new set of dishes. So I got this set from Wayfair, and it's from the company 222 Fifth, and we already have a couple plates from that company that we found at a thrift store. But I've been looking at some like this in like a turquoisey blue, but I decided to get these because they're usually like a hundred dollars or more. And then these were on sale for $43, I think. And then with taxes, it was only like $45 for the set. So we do have cardinals in our yard here a lot. And Vaughn and I both love cardinals. And then they also, it also has um, holly, which we have a holly tree in our yard. And then it has poinsettia, which I have had a poinsettia plant in my kitchen now that I've kept alive for like three years. So I thought that was pretty cool. So it comes with these dinner plates, the salad plates, the bowl with the cardinal, and then the mugs. So I thought that was a really good deal. And I'm very happy with the quality because I was concerned they wouldn't look very good because they're put on with a decal. So that means they're not hand painted. It has kind of like a like a sticker type of thing, I guess, they put on it before they glaze it and all of that. You can look it up online and find out how that works and all that. But yeah, I wouldn't normally put it on <laughs> this blue tablecloth. I think that's a little busy, but I decided to just put it on here because I already had that up. And I am very happy with this dish set. I think it is so pretty. I think it could be used all year round even because it just looks, it doesn't really look Christmassy, but this is sold as a Christmas set, I think it says here. Yeah, Christmas, Christmas Lane, fine china, and it is dishwasher and microwave safe, so I think that is really cool. But yeah, I'm very happy with these. I think this is going to look gorgeous on a, like, my white lace or off-white lace tablecloth. Today is Thursday, and this outfit of the day is... This necklace that I got from a family dollar, I believe, in Wyoming, I wanted to get a souvenir, and that was, like, the only place we went to when we went into the state and just pretty much came right back out one time. And then this tank top is from, I think, Walmart from several years back, and then this little mini skirt is from Follis. I think it was, like, a dollar on sale from Follis back when I was still living in California. I got that. I wanted to show this tiny cabinet right here. I painted it white and I put a lot of my nail polishes in it. I got this cabinet from 
from Goodwill, I think for like a dollar ninety nine, and it fits perfectly in this corner behind the one of the French doors that goes into my dressing room. And then down here, I have this. It's a drawer that had dividers in it. I turned it sideways and made a little bookcase out of it just for the time being. And then that has other nail polish that doesn't fit up here. But yeah, this is particularly organized because I tried to get like the like type of nail polishes. I think it looks so nice. I should probably try to limit my nail polish just to that amount. It is Friday. Today's outfit of the day is this kind of fall colored dress that I actually hand sewed myself years ago. And then I have this little belt. I think it came with something else, but I thought it matched fairly well. And then these little beaded um, chain earrings that I perhaps got from Walmart, but I'm not sure. So my next bottle or tube of Bath and Body Works lotion arrived. I already bought... I already bought this one earlier, you may remember, and I said I didn't particularly like it, and so I wanted something that was like cinnamon scented, and this one is Sweet Cinnamon Pumpkin, and sadly, I'm not <laughs> too big of a fan of that one either, so now I have like um, three new lotions, and I don't particularly like any of them, mm, and I already had so many lotions in my collection, but I think I will end up using them, but this one, oddly enough, when I first opened it, it, it it smells like bubble gum to me right off the bat anyway. So, I don't know. But, yeah, I think I won't be buying any more scented stuff until I actually can go in person again. Today's Sunday, and I'm going to end the blog here in a minute. But I just wanted to show some of the stuff that I'd gotten in blogger mail this week. And it is this hoodie that's from SheWin. I have this one to review. And the tie-dye, I think that one's really cute. This one that has mixed prints. And this one as well. This one's really thick and these all feel like very good quality to me so far. So anyway, I'll be reviewing those in an upcoming video. So stay tuned for that. Anyway, thank you so much for watching and I hope you have a great weekend.